Fuckers. What? Talking about video, just kidding, of course. I sound like video, I always do a lot anyway, I always like faking out people. Just cause, eh, I feel like it. But yeah, of course we did. Got some, a new article, I guess. I always like reading over these and talking about them. Cause I see no one really talk about it that much though. Just cause, you know, it's, you know, typical stuff though. You know, Sonic, you get leaked stuff. And of course we get like stuff about like, about the team. Sonic Frontiers, etc, etc. Honestly, that was Frontiers news. But actually, it's something a little bit different though. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I actually just see this, I just saw from Sonic and all characters. Shout out to them though, of course, all the info. I actually got it from them. Um. I've never been mainly talking about Sonic news and media, so thank you to, um, to such a, such a blip, blip, I want to say blip, 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 gave an interview to blip, <laughs> I said beep, I don't know beep, but I always say beep, but same, same thing. beep, 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 discussing the inner kitchen of Sonic team, how many, um, employees, both developer, both divisions here, how it uh, works, is distribute, what is this, um, where's the uh, what, what is, um, Zuka's <laughs> response, um, but who I'm responsible for, uh, we summarized everything below. Pretty much everything, like, here. Uh, did I see that? Oh, that was the wrong one. No, I did not want that. Well, let's just go down to the comments there, because I always use it. It's funny. But yeah, pretty much, like, entered, like, just dissect of, like, the, the team, like, how the development goes, and et cetera, et cetera. I think it says, like, 400 or 300 people. I might be thinking of Dragon Ball Z Dokken Battle, another mobile game, a mobile game I cover for uh, my other channel, which is, like, everywhere, though, so you have to just kidding though, of course. And you guys here for the Sonic content. I know it's not really like really news news, but I was like looking stuff up like this and just finding out new stuff. I was like making over I am making a video over it though. Because it could come more it come it could come, you know, in the future it could, you know it, like I could go or I could relate back to this video but like, oh yeah, the last video I did talked about like the interview, the guy she's talking about this and that, etc. etc. Maybe like why first years didn't have this or maybe sometimes this didn't have that. And a little stuff like that, though, of course. I don't know, I was, like, covering, going over these videos. Just, like, a, a little, little mini break videos, kind of. Like, just, you know, again, if I can find any Sonic news, I'm gonna talk about it. If I can find any, like, little pit tidbits or anything like that for, for short, I'm gonna definitely make, gonna make it because it's more cuts for the channel. You guys enjoy it. I'm glad you guys enjoy it. It's on the content. You guys are gonna destroy it anyway, trust me. If it's only video I've made, you guys destroy it. That would I love you guys for that. You guys are awesome. It is probably like the most popular thing on my channel. Besides, Doka, I was like Doka and Benton are kind of neck and neck though. But I think Sonic just beats out everything because it's, it's Sonic. But yeah, though, of course. Uh, but like I said, nothing like really new, new news wise here. But I like to kind of just cover and talk about this stuff though, just because no one else, no one else really does it. Some people might do it here and there though, but it's like I personally like doing it myself. I just like talking about it and anything, and anything Sonic. I like to make this video, talk about it, anything like that. I love it. But yeah, though. Um, Let's go ahead and get started though. So it says when talking about Pacifics. Oh, I am not gonna. Oh, that is okay. I can zoom in on that though. That's that's the that's the new. Uh, actually, I'll just give it back a little. Uh, actually, zoom in a little bit. So you hear noise outside. People love to blast the music in my neighborhood for no reason. Okay, that's perfect. Beautiful. So sorry about that. I can't control that. This is when I asked about the Pacifics. I just need to zoom in a little bit more. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we're asking about the specifics of his, of his new position as a series uh, executive officer, which he stepped back in, in um, April. Takashi Zuka explained, or Zuka, I, I say both, explained that usually people in similar positions manage businesses divisions or businesses managers. Um, in his case, however, it is not assigned to the specific divisions. Everything is much broader, um, broader, but I say broader. Uh, Zuka is one of the main executives of all the fields of Sonic Hedgehog series overall. So he mainly just the field of Sonic though. I guess other people under other businesses and managers also come in and help him out from here and there. But that's really good though, I like that. Uh, despite that, Zuka works and runs Sonic Team Division in the US, rarely visit Japan without need, which we already know about that already though, because again, he visits Japan here and there, like, with, like I said. But it's pretty much like Sonic 2 and 3's development though, like, you know, in Japan, like, they go busy, they help out a lot and stuff like that, of course, but like I said, he really just worked on America and US Sonic stuff though, since I want to say mainly like Adventure Adventure 2, I want to say. Pretty much, and that was like back in like, what, like, in the 90s, like early 2000s though, so, yeah, he didn't really need, has like no need to go to Japan, he really mainly just stays in the US and stuff like that, of course, which makes sense, you know, language barriers, during interviews, like, he had to have a translator and everything, during a lot of those Sonic Frontiers early trailers and, um, it was so come on Johnny, it's so come on Johnny, he went to, um, 
Hawaii for his Sonic Frontiers video, like preview and everything. A little event he went to. And of course from other media sources, they did have like interviews to him, like, you know, have a translator, English barriers and everything, you know, language barriers and stuff like that, which makes sense though, of course. You're not gonna really get like you're not gonna really like be you're not gonna be like, Oh yeah, he does he could fully speak English is like the dude again, he's mainly he's pretty much, you know, in the Japanese department though, so you're not gonna be able to get like a full sometimes English conversation with them though. But I mean hey, anything's anything. He's not involved in any any other series in any form. So maybe he mainly just doesn't sound like that talk, which is good though. According to the yeah, Blue is mainly the important part of stuff though. According to him, the official science team of US consists of forty people and they don't have a de uh, and they, do, and they do not have a development department. They do not have a development department. Oh, see, that's crazy though. Think about that though. Also, I do like reacting over these two just to kind of give them more of an insight. Other videos and stuff like that, of course. Sonic Team Japan handles the game development while Sonic Team US is responsible for pro um, producing the rest of the media, movies, comics, uh, licensing, animation projects, and secondary games. Pretty much like a, a Japanese and US team. Uh, we know that was a thing already. They, they, they felt that and it's like a take to institute and stuff like that. The latter is still created in collaboration with Japan teams. Pretty much, US and JP are two different teams. JP mainly uh, develops the game while US mainly um, gives the info, leaks, giving us, putting out media, making like, you know, trailers, etc. etc. Et That's why I was like, for two trailers. It felt really weird. It felt really good. But then it's also like they didn't want to spoil too much. A lot of the same footage is there. So it kind of doesn't make sense. Again, US stuff, we already know about that already. Japan team has 400 people, makes sense, of course, more of a bigger population there. Suga calls it a secondary division team, however, he has clarified that not all of them work on Sonic, but okay, they probably work on other games, collaboration stuff, etc, etc, that makes sense. With the team, there is, a, um, there is, for example, a division responsible for arcade, um, arcade direction on Puyo Puyo. Sonic team has developed the games under the license of the games, not confused with Mario and Sonic series, okay, it makes sense, okay. No, that's not so you no know, by Sonic and um in all characters. Okay, so pretty much yeah, like Sonic is like like all star racing with Sonic in all characters, pretty much. So for bump, bump in my mic there, holy crap, sorry about that. Zuka is assigned producers to all Sonic team projects and oversees the production of PR, marketing, licensing, localization, also in his area of responsibility. Okay, that's kinda cool though to think about that though. So yeah, pretty much just Zuka's like whole thing in a nutshell. Sorry about bumping the mic again. So pretty much like I said. Four people mainly mean four people pretty much are in the U.S. department. The Japan and um, U.S. teams are pretty much split in half. You know, the U.S. the Japan mainly handles the development part. The U.S. mainly uh, does like marketing and commercials and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Licensing, trying to push the game out more. In Japan, they have more a little bit more people developing on the game and like little corporations stuff like that. That just gets split into, into its own division, like arcades, Puyo Puyo, um, Sonic and Olympic games. Second all characters, etc., etc. That's all that gets split up the Mario Sonic series. All that gets split into its own thing. Of course, with the PR system and everything, localization, licensing, making sure you know, co by copyright and stuff like that, of course, as well, though. But yeah, though, that's a cr amazing to just think about this and talk about this, though, honestly. I don't know, it's always a good um, viewpoint to see, like, how the other people think about Sonic and how, you know, how, like, behind the scenes, all this stuff is kind of happening and stuff like that, of course. Like I said, a lot of people really don't make these videos. I like to react over them and talk about them and stuff like that, though. But I know it's good insight, though, like, to see what happens, like, like behind the scenes. I love stuff like this, though. Like, I, and I love how Sonic and all characters actually use the Frontiers background. I love that. It looks so clean. I love it. I feel like I see so many versions of this, though, like, two or three of them. But I like it, though. It's really clean, though. Like I said, the video's gonna be kind of short, though, today, because I didn't really need to spend too, too much time on it, though. But, yeah, I know you guys like the Sonic video, so I'm gonna keep going. But yeah, all my thoughts and stuff like that, honestly, for this, I like it though. Um, is it more insight of like what really happens behind the scenes? It happened, like what really happened, you know, where they got to go through a lot to push like localization, marketing, etc. I so, like all the managers, departments, the people that have to pay, the marketing, the like copyright issues, the movies, the comics, everything they got to go through just to push out for Sonic though. Yeah, but yeah, Zuka probably mainly, mainly just focuses on Sonic the series overall. The Sonic the series, Sonic the series overall though. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, because he does do other stuff though, but he mainly just focuses on Sonic a lot though, which makes sense. Like, he's been doing this since like early 2000s though, so. Man, it's still going strong. I respect that. I just honestly respect that as a YouTuber and content creator. Just keep going and going and doing, doing what you, um, you know, focusing, you know, I mean, like, you know, you gotta branch out other contents, do other things, you might get bored and burnt out, trust me, I've gotten bored and burnt out from Sonic Go 4, that's why, uh, like, all those old, like, that's why I kind of think, like, sometimes, like, man, I really could make this, this Sonic video, like, back in the day, but I was just so tired, I was so burnt out from Sonic, 
I was really remaining around like forces kind of like in 2018, 2019. 2018 going back on to 2019 though, because that's when Team Sonic Racing was coming out. That's when a lot of stuff I was busy. Tail was going like every other which way though, so. Oh. Except stuff, honestly though. But yeah, I don't know. It's always good to see stuff like this. Though. Like the whole like there's a whole media team that focuses on marketing. We got the US team mainly focusing on like products, like pushing out like commercials and trying to sell pretty much not money but trying to sell stuff his own little division like japan has his own thing of people which makes sense again in japan teams work on a lot of games like this like yakuza uh tekken just throw out some examples and stuff like that just, i like to kind of like put that out there for a second but yeah i mean honestly this is good to talk about though i don't know like, it gives me a new viewpoint like oh like behind the scenes i would really like but like, for consideration you guys should know me as hypersonic that's it you don't know like what happens what i have to do like at work or like what i do at home like to get ready and everything like you guys should like it again you guys know about all my social medias my instagram my twitter my youtube channel everything etc etc all the above but like behind the scenes i'm doing a lot of stuff like i'm always doing thumbnails i'm always doing you know working i'm always um do, making shorts i am always making shorts 24 7. um yeah, but you content, doing this, doing that, blah, 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 blah. Like, again, behind the scenes, stuff like that. No one really knows what's really, really happening there. But they can just on the kind of characters for all this stuff. I don't know, a brighter viewpoint on, like, stuff like this. Always is good to make a video for. Just to get, like, you know, pushes out there. Not just for views. And I don't do it. I just like, I just like making videos and enjoying, like, the content I make. But stuff like this, though. Like I said, it's important to push it out there. Again, the video gets happy right if it gets, you know, cut in half, et cetera, et cetera, it happens. I mean, but hey, at least I got my point. At least I, got, I like this stuff. I love stuff like this. I love talking about stuff like this. I love doing stuff like this. This is really my life now for almost like 10 years. I think 10 years almost. I think my YouTube channel for 10 years next year. Insaneness. Like, utterly insane. I think I started like, what, like 2013? So I want to say 2014. So I want to kind of say my channel is almost 10 years old now. So yeah, it's just crazy to think about stuff like this. So, but I love it though. It's good to see stuff like this. I love it. Like I said, it isn't like crazy, crazy news wise, but I mean, hey, it's good to get this stuff out there in the public sometimes. Sometimes. You don't need to go like too, too far, but it's always good to get stuff out like this. I personally think I respect the Zuko more because all the stuff he has to go through, all the stuff he has, like tweets, even voice actors, like voice actors, like Roger and um, Mike Pollock, he, they have to do like ads and tweets and everything for them every single day. And I just feel bad for them sometimes, but you know, because them change, like, you know. It's good to see like what like really happens behind the scenes of everything, just like really brings you all together. You know, that's a good thing about content creation though. A stuff like this, like, yeah, it brings everybody together. I love it. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I want to contact about Goro today. But yeah, go blue's video right away. Just because I mean, hey, whatever. See you guys. I mean, because I want to honestly. I like to just stuff like this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. See you guys out there. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Quite a good one. Good night. All the good night. Good night. Always stay safe. Watch hands. God bless all of you. Have a quick app. I don't want to add to them. Talk to you. Come back to the game. Go outside to the guys. Keep being on the show. I'm going to finish the discourse. Where you guys are awesome. So we can think about all this for the of course. Like, you hate it again. I like it though. It gives a little bit more perspective on what really happens behind the scenes and what happens really with the team and everything. I mean, businesses, uh, factions, everything like that though. I don't know. I like it though. It's good. But yeah. See you guys later, though. Okay, though. Peace out.